Hey, what's up guys? I got a request to do a video on how to edit or add inputs in a production point for a warehouse. Meaning, I'll show you real quick. If we go to Farming Simulator, go to Mods, go to the warehouse that we have on the Mod Hub here. This medium sized warehouse is an actual production point. So I'm going to show you how to edit this, how to add a fill type how to add the three points that need to get edited and get this thing going for you in game to add anything that you want from any mod that you have. So first we're gonna download it. We'll let that download into our download folder. I'm gonna show in a folder here. Now you can see we have the depot medium. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it from our download photo folder and go to our mods folder here. I'm just gonna paste it here in our mods folder and what you have to do to edit it, you need to unzip it. So we are going to go to here, extract all. Let it extract all right here. Let it do its thing. And you can actually delete the zipped version of that folder. Delete that. Next, you can go into the unzipped version and you're gonna find the XML file right here of the downloaded warehouse, which is the depot medium. So we'll double click on that and hopefully you have XML or Noplaid++ to edit your XML files. That's the best uh, program to use for Giants Editor. Um, you'll see in here, you have everything pretty much listed. First thing you're going to see is the store data. It's going to give you, if you want to actually edit the price of your warehouse or production point, you can change that by adding in the price right here. You can do the daily upkeep as well. But you're focused on production point right here. So all these brackets have different meanings and everything else, clearing level, indoor areas, all that. You're looking for productions. So if you scroll down here past all your animated objects and all your clear level areas and such things, you're gonna find a bracket point called production point right here. This is where you're going to first edit something and add a fill type to your production point for the warehouse. So if you go down to the bottom of your entire list of production points, you can kind of see how each of them are broken up into brackets here. Meaning if you double click on one of these right here, you'll see the pink that goes from right here to right here. That's one bracket. That's one production point. And that production point is labeled ID warehouse 20 because that's just what they labeled it. And they have the actual in-game L10 line of fill type chocolate. So your first thing you're going to want to do to actually add a new production point is come down to the end and you're going to want to highlight that last bracket. You'll go down here, highlight all of them, click control C on your keyboard. You're going to click at the end of the production point, hit enter to go down one line, click control V. That's going to add an, a duplicate of what you just copied. What you can next do is actually to keep things in order, just name it the following number, what they have lined up, whatever it may be. So this one would be warehouse 24. And say you didn't know what the actual in-game name was, you could actually edit this, the entire line, deleting the dollar sign as well inside the parentheses and put your own name. So you could do pepperoni or something, whatever the fill type may be. I'm not sure what we're going to add here for a fill type. For an example, let's go back to the Farm and Slimly Mod Hub. We'll go back to Mods and say we have just um, Productions. Let's look for a production here. There should be some sort of bakery or something that has a fill type we can grab. So say the fish farm. Fish farm, I'm pretty sure, has a fill type. So we'll download that. We'll get out of here, let that download. Show it. Continue downloading. Sorry. I was trying to exit it too early. <laughs> um, we'll go to our download folder, which will be right here. And here's the fish farm that we just downloaded here. What you do need to do is just double click into it. You don't need to extract anything, right? Just double click into it and find the actual XML file for whatever fill type you are trying to do. So that would be right here, the selling fish station or fish production. Sorry, not the sell station. You want to do the production point 
open that in your XML and you don't have to unzip anything because you're not really saving anything from that. You're just going to copy the fill types that are part of that mod. So what you're going to do, you're going to come down here and you're going to see you have a production right here. Productions. Your output for this production is fish. So whatever they have as a fish palette is just labeled fish. That is the name you're going to want to put into your warehouse production point. They already have a palette, everything else that's included in this pack, so you don't have to worry about assigning any of that. We're not getting into any of that. You're just going to have to remember the fill type and how it's labeled. They could have had fish 739 or whatever it may be. You know, they could have any number in there or labeled anything. You're just going to have to make sure that is the exact same spelling capitals everything like that as what you put into your production point here so we're just going to name this one fish just because this is what we're doing as an example and then next down here you're going to go to inputs your input is going to be the same thing we just copied fish oops sorry i'm just going to label it just like it was in the other one capital fish there you go you can do the same thing as output because that's exactly what this warehouse is. It's just an input and output of one product and it immediately does one cy 1,000 cycles per hour of that product. So you're just going to want to put the output as the same thing of fish, capital letters, and there you go. You just added your first part to changing and adding a fill type to your warehouse. Your next part that you're going to look for is called selling stations. That is the same second area where you're going to have to list your product that you just added, being fish. So in that area, you will find unload triggers. And in that section there, you'll find fill types. You'll notice here in fill types, it lists every single fill type that is in production here. So all you have to do is sit here and add fish. Make sure there's a space in between the fill types. That's all set for the second part. Now you're gonna look for your third and final part and that is as easy as it can get to adding a fill type. The next one is going to be storage. So we're gonna scroll down here and look for storage. This is all spawn areas. It has a lot of spawn areas for pallets and stuff. So we'll scroll through all those and come down here. You can find a bracket called storage. Right here, you're going to want to add another section just like you see for each one. And we're gonna add another one called fish. So we'll just go right here triple click on your line copy it click right at the end of your line enter to get the line below and click paste you'll see it did a duplicate of furniture and all you're going to do is change that name from furniture to whatever your fill type one this one being fish if you wanted to change the capacity of how much your fill type holds it's right here as easy as it can get so instead of having this one being 140,000, say you want it to be a million so you just add one million it will hold one million liters of whatever that product is and it's as easy as that as adding a new fill type to your production point such as a warehouse i hope this makes it easier for everybody to prove it to you that we just added fish i'm going to go in here and we're actually going to bring it into game so we have our production point that's already uh, you know in our mod folder you can actually leave that unzipped and it will work in game so let's close that out. We have our fish production and we're gonna bring that into our mod folder just as a test. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy that fish production, go into our mod folder and paste. This is just for a test. We already have our unzipped warehouse right here. You don't have to worry about zipping it up. It'll still work in game. It's in your mod folder, load up farm sim 22. Should load up pretty quick here. But if you go to downloading content, go to installed content, you can see, make sure your warehouses are all there, your fish farm, medium sized warehouse, both there, good. Go to career, get a map, whatever map you're playing. Um, empty pallets. Okay, it requires that. Okay, so I can show you that it, the new, it did work. I guess we can download it, sure. Let's just get them from Mod Hub. I didn't realize those needed it. Let's let them download. Restart. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it actually needed extra productions. Whatever. That's no problem. We could have added those fill types as well, but 
at least I showed you one and that should help you get through it on add in others so let it load up here real quick <laughs> Oh, we are first going to spawn in some money because we need some of that just to show you and we'll go to our production point whatever it may be the warehouse the warehouse is right here let's go here and we can show you on the list inside that it actually has the production of fish now the storage of fish to our bottom you can see fish is added you have your production down here fish is added it's as easy as that guys I hope it's nice and easy and explains everything as far as adding your own fill types to a production point it can be easy to do that on most production points this is a simple warehouse where it just takes one product in one product out if you open up another production point and it has multiple products you're gonna have to add all those multiple products to your warehouse or whatever it may be but yeah, that is your basics of adding a fill type to a warehouse production point. I hope it helps, guys. We will catch you later.